In a previous video, I talked about the three root causes behind anxiety. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the things you can do to address it. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the Breakthrough Expert. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what is it that causes people to have panic attacks, to have stress, to have anxiety, to have phobias. Well, one of the things I've talked about a lot, which is the stimulus response, and that is when you're flying on that plane, say, and that plane suddenly drops and you're eight years old and you go, oh, it's going to crash. And obviously it doesn't, but your mind in that moment links pain, fear, stress to that event. And then from then on in, unless you do the techniques to change it, you're going to link fear to it. Now, depending on how scary the event is, depends on often how extreme the phobia is. But there is a second thing that determines how much stress, how much anxiety you create around this issue. And that is safety. How much safety, how much protection did you have? So for example, let me use the plane example. If you're eight years old and you're flying on that plane and you suddenly feel scared, you look around to the people who support you. So if you look around and there's nobody there, then often that can create anxiety, fear, panic. Conversely, if you have specific role models that you look to as a child, and that's often your parents, to reassure you, to keep, keep you safe, and you look to them and they're scared, you see that they're panicked. Even if they're trying to hide it, very often as a child you'll pick it up. Then suddenly you go, oh, there's no safety here, there's no protection, I have to create it in myself. And that's very often the causes. And it's one of those things, specifically anxiety, it's one of those things that even with the rapid change process, such as CBT, such as EMDR and EFT and neurolinguistics and hypnotherapy that normally offer fast results, some of the really good processes, some of my colleagues, it's one of those things that actually they address the issue and it can sometimes make the anxiety worse. And that's because they haven't addressed the safety. So when I work with my clients and when I'm teaching other therapists and coaches how to do this, I'll always teach them how to create a space of safety first, how to create that within yourself so, the client, so my clients are able to let go of that anxiety, that fear, that stress. And I'll cover this in a subsequent video. The other thing my colleagues don't get is they often go, oh, this client is difficult, this client is just out to catch me out, oh, this client has too much benefit for holding on to the problem. And they don't realize that actually the anxiety causes a lack of trust because it's creating that safety mechanism. They often won't open up to the therapist or the coach or the hypnotherapist. And so it's cultivating that level of trust first before the client's willing to create their own safe space and then go there and let go of their fears, their phobias, their anxiety, their panic. So it's worth thinking, what is it that makes you safe? What areas could you cultivate within yourself so you can let go of stress, anxiety, panic attacks, fear, phobias? And please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones.